Hello Virgo, welcome to the channel. This is Asnoitia here. For those of you who are returning, thank you very much for liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. It is a blessing, thank you. I feel the love and the encouragement. For those of you who are new, welcome to the channel. So I am going to do a love reading for you. And I'm going to look into the feelings and emotions of the person that you're dealing with on a romantic level or the person you wish to be dealing with on a romantic level, what it is that they're feeling and thinking towards you currently. This reading is a general reading, so do keep in mind it may not resonate for everyone. And it is meant to cover the dates of from mid-September to the end of September 2020. However, time is fluid, so it may not resonate for everyone at that time period. The timing could be a few weeks before or after. The situation may have already occurred. Or it may occur in the future. Oh boy. Okay. Wow, guys, this is uh, quite intense. It's quite the reading. Okay, just give me a second because I do see that I can pull these this way because I want you guys to see most of the cards here. All right. All right, Virgo. Let's have a look at what this person is feeling and thinking for you currently. My dear Virgo, you are very sweet to me. So calm and caring, compassionate and nurturing. Just the thought of being in your arms provides me with comfort. The feeling as though I am protected from the harsh world. There are things inside of my heart and mind that I want to bring out to the surface and show you that I've been holding this on the inside for so long. There is a need for me to express myself to you. And you have so much power over me. You don't even know this. You are very tempting. You seduce me without even trying to seduce me. You make me weak and you make me vulnerable. There is a feeling of home when I think of you. There is so much about you that I admire. You are like family. I can confide in you so many things and what's amazing about you is that you don't judge me. And even though I am in a situation with someone else. Please don't forget and please don't think that I don't yearn for you, that I don't long for you. My mind is always thinking of you. I do have a lot of compassion towards you and your situation. You may smile, but there is sadness in your eyes, and I feel it, I see it. There are certain things that you would like to do on your own, but I know it's nice to have someone help once in a while. I have felt important 
in your life. But right now, things have changed. There is a lot of chaos around. I need to find a path and to follow that path. But I am not able to locate where this path is yet. Everything around me is clouded. Dark, thick clouds. I don't know whether to go left or right, forwards or backwards. So I stay in one spot and I do not move because I don't want to ruin anything. And so, because of this, not only have I seen and feel that you have put up a little bit of boundaries. Yes, you have. But I myself have put up boundaries too. I feel the need to become a little defensive. I'm trying to keep my distance, but it's very difficult for me because even if I do, I think of you. And I miss you. I miss you very much. The unique thing about our relationship is that I actually do feel a spiritual connection with you. There is a sense of ecstasy, this eternal bliss that makes my heart, makes my spirit happy and joyous. There's a lot of beauty. You make everything come to life. All right, Virgo. That was sweet, guys. That was very nice. Yes, there is an issue here, but this person themselves is feeling a little conflicted, not with the way they feel, by restrictions, not knowing what's going to happen next is an issue. Not knowing where you're headed is a very big issue. All right, let's have a look here. So I'm looking into the intentions of the person that you're dealing with. The intentions, so I do channel into feelings more and these may be intentions that may turn into actions. All right, under the bottom of the deck, Six of Swords. So you do have here Eight of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, the Moon, the Wheel of Fortune, and Six of Swords. So this person is definitely working on the relationship, um, which is why they have kind of closed off a little bit, because they're thinking about things. They want to make it just right. They don't want to screw up again. You might know this person through work or some type of club association. Could You simply could just have mutual friends. However, this person is actually making a choice and they do feel in their heart of hearts that both of you make a great team. They actually think that if you were to partner in any type of venture, you guys would be great together. You make them very emotional. And they are realizing that there are certain things that they have kept from you in the dark. There's a sense of lies and betrayal. What they want is to come back into your life if they are not. Or they want to renew this entire relationship, make it better than what it was before. For me, this card is someday, somewhere, we will meet again. The universe is trying to work its way so that both of you can be together. The situation itself is weighing very heavy on this person's chest. They really want it to end. 
They want to move on, onto calmer waters, instead of this storm that they're in. They don't like it, they can't tolerate it anymore. They just want to move out. They want to move somewhere else. Not physically, but mentally, they want to get out of the situation. Move on onto calmer waters. All right. So it doesn't seem to me as if they are going to initiate anything with you yet, but it does seem as though they're wanting to move on from the mindset that they're in right now. So here you have the Lover's Path Tarot. Let's see. Wisdom. I'm going to be focusing on the aspects that may be causing a hindrance in your relationship or in this connection. So you have your wisdom. Let's have a look at wisdom. Okay. So the person that you're dealing with has an unwillingness to learn. Mm, that's tough. They felt that the soup, that, that this entire situation, this relationship or this connection was superficial at some point. They also felt as if somehow you are more wiser than they are and they felt intimidated. They also felt very limited by the lack of knowledge and understanding that they had in the type of connection that you guys had. Okay. Then you have fortune. Fortune does talk about this person feeling as though nothing good has happened with them in their life. They feel as though luck has turned her back on them. There's uncomfortable feelings and disappointments when it comes to fortune and chance. So There's something about this person where they feel that the connection is being held back because of luck. Because either they were at the wrong place at the wrong time or you were. Or maybe they met you at the wrong stage in their life and they wish they would have met you earlier. There's something about this connection where they feel that fate did not work in their favor. Um... And this is honestly, this is just something mentally, and in, it's in their mind, they, they have to get over this. I mean, it is what it is. Um, but it's a big deal for them. This is why it came up. It's a very big deal for them. They're feeling bad as though fortune's never been on their side. They've never had good luck. Everything's turned against them. It's always been like that. This is what they feel. And then they also feel that you... Virgo are very wise and they are not as wise as you are and that intimidates them a little bit too You have more wisdom than they do So Someone's not feeling so great All right guys, let's have a look here This is Doreen Virtue's deck. Angel Answers. Okay. Choose a new direction. Remain positive. It's up to you. A year from now, everybody remain calm. <laughs> I know it sounds terrible, a year from now. I'll explain that. Success. Compromise. 
if you believe. Under the bottom of the deck, big happy changes. Okay, so it's actually quite nice. All right, Virgo, this message is brought to you by Archangel Michael, Raphael, and Gabriel. So what they're saying here is that the path that you are on right now, you have a particular direction, a destination. They want you to change your path and try a different approach to the situation. In the meantime, it is important for you to believe that this is going to work. And so you remain positive in order for positivity to come to you. And it's up to you if you want to make this work. Because from now until a year from now, let me repeat that, from right now until a year from now, there is going to be the stages of success and compromise with this person. If you believe that this is what you want, you will work towards it. It's up to you. But a year from now, there's going to be big, happy changes. And you have that power to make it happen. By choosing a new direction in the sense, taking a different approach, but the destination is the same. All right, guys. Hope I was able to clarify that. So let me know if any of you resonated. Once again, thank you so much for those of you who have returned. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for all of the love, support, best wishes, blessings, every single thing that you guys do for me. Thank you so much. Um, and for those of you who are new, welcome, and I hope that you enjoyed the reading. All right, guys, I'll see you next month. Take care, and like the angel said, stay positive. All right, then. Bye-bye now.